Christian aid was given unprecedented access to towns and villages quite close to the front line with the northern part of the country now in the hands of the rebels. What we found there were people who had been internally displaced, who had basically fled for their lives, now dependent on food aid, but also in the villages to the east of the main highway going north on the Dogon Plateau, we found people in very, very dire straits indeed. Last year's harvest was bad enough, but what's happened since then is that you've seen hundreds of thousands of people, several hundred thousand people, the figure actually fluctuates, fleeing south across the front line and arriving in communities already suffering food shortages of their own. It's difficult to get a really precise handle on how many have arrived because they're going to stay with families quite frequently. Um, but So their arrival is having a huge effect. Agriculture also in that area has been seriously disrupted. Christian Aid is working in the region through two of our local partners, APH and GRAT. They are um, providing food, they're providing cash transfers, and there are um, food for work programs in place. One of the partners, GRAT, for instance, has already distributed something like 50 tonnes of supplies. But there is enormous need in that area. Um, and clearly more needs to be done. What really brought home the level of need to me in one of the villages that we visited was when an elderly man, Dojo Jugal Tapali, I asked him to show me what an average adult had to eat each day and he produced a very small breakfast cereal bowl that was full of millet and he said that that was a daily ration for two people. And he then looked at me and he said, underneath this shirt, you know, I'm very thin because he and his family, as had the rest of the village, have been existing basically on survival rations now for a considerable length of time. As he said to me, we have to measure it out each day because there is nothing extra.